Greetings once again, FAC fans. Welcome to, I'll call it, I suppose, suction doesn't mean as much as you think it means. So I've got this Mila Callisto here, and I've got it set up to where I'm going to do a real interesting live experiment. We're going to go and have the suction be fairly constant, but we're going to vary the airflow. So I've set this machine up so that at the end of the hose here, we're going to be running about 50 CFM, and I've got a tape line. What I'm going to do with this tape line is put this nozzle behind it, and you see we've got some oats, some rice, and some flour. And we'll see what it does. Essentially, what I've done, I've set the machine up, so I've simulated a clog. And you know what I'll do? I'll move this in a little closer so you can get a better picture of what's happening here. So just to show you, Baird meter, <laughs> essentially a Baird zero. Sounds like we have some airflow, but what you're hearing is suction. So, 80 inches of lift, plenty of suction, very low airflow. So what happens if I make an effort to pick this debris up? I'm going to run this nozzle right along the tape line. little bit of flower movement. I'll go back down here. Larger particles, nothing. So you saw what we have. All right. Now let me back up a little bit and I'll show you what I did to modify the machine. And you've seen this on YouTube from other people. Take this out. And I just stuck a paper towel in there. Kills the airflow, but doesn't affect the suction a whole lot. So let's go ahead and replug this back in. Now let's see what we have for airflow. Way up there. Way, way up there. And suction. 80, yeah, a little bit more. Maybe about 84, 85. Okay. Massive increase in airflow. A little bit of an increase in suction. Just a little. All right now, let's see what it does. down here. See the difference? Quite a large difference. Okay, so what's my point? However you manage to get the airflow at the end of your hose, get as much as you can or as much as it makes sense. What it's backed up with doesn't really matter a whole lot. This is a ton of suction here and it didn't vary that much. But the airflow was almost, well it really was just about two to one. Probably close to oh, 97, 98 maybe CFM unclogged and clogged probably about 46 CFM. So you saw a real practical test about how airflow can actually grab particles at a distance and then move it along the hose and get it into your bin or bag. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.